Hello and welcome. Um, today we are going to be playing Amnesia Darkest Descent, the first Amnesia game. I enjoyed the bunker so much I thought I'd give this one a go. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Mayfair, what have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. Blur. And momentum has been added to your journey. Press Y to make sure you check these when we get started. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Voices whispering. Oh, I don't like the statues, this sketchy as. Steps. Let's see door slims by me. Beware, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on the lights in the moment, using digital batteries, and we'll search for the source of light. 
Perfect. Okay. That. Uh, that's why I'm having those hallucinations and shit. Because my sanity is slowly going. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to be to well in his eyes as he received his first kick in the stomach. Hey, where okay. Really like to grab one. Any fun celebrating events will reduce your sanity. It can increase by completing puzzles. You have picked up a lamp and when filled with oil, it can be turned on by pressing X. But how much does it have? That's my question. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. <laughs> Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. Jeez. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. That's pretty cool. That's hot. Something, something. Alexander, is it inside the castle? 
In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. The check out going to be locked. It is tough. Plant. Plant? Plant. It cannot be torn by hands. Or by hand or tools. So I have to do something and say. Oh, there's lots of ways to get it. Oh. But Jesus fucking trap. This is their attempt to produce artificial light day. The former companies lacked the potency ID, but it sends up close. Calamine and or pigment are given and the culprit binds them well. Keep bright. This time I will attempt aqua re reader instead of aqua fortis in hopes it will produce an even more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid, highly acid and provides proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. We're gonna distribute especially violent to the solution and should handle it with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find it. Solution to my predicament. Oh, no buttons. So I didn't go in this way. No, wait. Why am I tripping out? Thank you. 
That's a pretty good little place, but... to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Hmm. So don't waste my little meat. Can we get a fair bit of It's like something so close to me. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. What's how to get in? <coughs> really not looking forward to turn around and hit something.
to Nevin. Yeah, take that back. This room. That's a big ass room. Alright, so that's what that button was. Alright, I forgot the sprint button. Does that mean? Does it get shushed by a ghost? Apparently so. I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arab pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. So I'll be able to climb through there once I get some tools. Okay, I thought maybe I could chuck stuff at it. Turns out new. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Let's up 
Ghost. Maybe if I took a chair out. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. surrounding the hamlet and its neighbour, Castle Brinball. Brinball. The quiet forest clad man stressed with scattered legs is a picture called picturesque as can be. Albeit, the area is haunted by the dark. Actually, the local many, you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travellers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will clearly serve as an exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale, but there are some mo motifs that keep reappearing. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the, of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duties got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies were rotted by their tainted souls have left them, disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid remnants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from the behold. They are cold gatherers as they seem to follow some ambitious ambitious to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp fill-up sacks dragged behind them, which feeds their essence. What like dark team do they follow? They visit undone. Heidrich, Cornelius, Abri the well-known eruded, visited Alistair at the start of the 16th century, cited in the local inn for a fall. As he looked for remnants of kingdom past, during his stay all the prominent members of the society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he to guess they burrow in the west of and they did never be seen again. Heidrich is known to have passed away in the early war. Some ten years later he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alistair, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle in Alstrad, and like most of the noble birds, rumours are inherited alongside the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to the lingering and heritage. Lineage. When it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the, is the one the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, who lived through the time of occupation and joined the covenant order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Of this country. What was in this one? 
I didn't break that. I thought I saw another one. Subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Wait.